and greetings friends. I want to update you on certain events that have taken place ever since the election of Donald Trump on November 5th. Certain chess pieces have moved into place and these events that have happened will eventually fulfill Bible prophecy in the future. The first one is the German government has collapsed and they're going to have elections very very soon I believe in January and it looks like the AFD will win this next election they already have all of Eastern Germany and Western Germany there they have made inroads in Western Germany and of course this is a populist party and of course this populist party is anti-EU and of course we've been saying all along that eventually the EU is going to collapse according to biblical prophecy in Revelation the 17th chapter. So the German, the German uh, government has collapsed. This of course happened after the election of Donald Trump. Now also NATO has announced that in the event of a conflict between Iran and Israel it will support Israel stating that any country uh, intervening on Iran's side would be considered an enemy of the West. This is what NATO has said, and we have been saying this for years now, that in Daniel the 11th chapter, verse 45, the king of the north, which is the president of the United States that leads NATO, will plant the uh, tabernacles of his palace, that's military bases, military occupation, between the seas in the glorious holy mountain. And when that happens, NATO will come to its end. They will receive a deadly blow, as it says in Jeremiah the 30th chapter, verses 14 and 15. And of course, that deadly blow is given to them by China. And of course, China sides with the Palestinians. Uh, Iran is in an alliance with uh, China in the SCO and I believe BRICS as well. And here NATO says that any country that intervenes, they will be considered an enemy of the West. So there's another chess piece that has moved into position. Uh, Donald Trump announced uh, just recently that Mike Huckabee will be an ambassador. He will be the ambassador to Israel. And of course, he is pro-Israel. He is a, a very Christian, born-again Christian man, I believe. I believe he's born-again Christian, but he's... He's a very uh, religious man, Christian man, and we've been saying for years now that the King of the North will be pro-Christian, pro-military, and pro-Israel. And of course, Donald Trump is all those things. And now he's, he's appointed Mike Huckabee, a very deeply religious Christian man. And I'm not saying there's something wrong with that. I'm just saying when it comes to Bible prophecy, he's a very deeply Christian man. He believes the Jews belong in Israel, that all that land belongs to them, and he believes that the United States should come to the aid of Israel. And of course, that will be fulfilling this prophecy of Daniel the 11th chapter, verse 45. Now also, I said, as it says here in this prophecy, it says that uh, when he plants the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain, it says he shall come to his end and none shall help him. NATO will receive that deadly blow and everybody, the whole alliance will dissolve. Everybody will abandon that alliance and leave Britain and America to themselves. And Britain and America will go it alone in Israel. But NATO will dissolve. NATO will break apart. He shall come to his end and none shall help him. And as I said, the secondary meaning, biblical commentaries show, mean that the King of the North, the President of the United States, will also die. Now, how he dies, we're not sure. Will he be assassinated? Uh, there wasn't an attempt on his life before the election, as of course we all know, but that, uh, that failed, thank God. But it says that he will die. Will it be a, by assassination or will it be a natural death? We're just going to have to wait and see, but that's the secondary meaning. Look at this headline by Globe Eye News. They say here, Russia says Trump will not be able to stop the war in the Ukraine, Ukraine if he wins, and if he tries, he may be assassinated. So here we see that even world leaders are saying that Donald Trump could be 
assassinated if he tries to stop the war in the Ukraine. And of course, Iran has attempted to assassinate Donald Trump, of course, because of him being pro-Israel. So all these chess pieces are moving into place to fulfill this prophecy of Daniel, the 11th chapter, verse 45, which we've been saying for years now, is the next great prophetic event. And Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. And me personally, I believe he is going to fulfill this prophecy of Daniel, the 11th chapter, verse 45, and the other uh, prophecies that are related to this chapter. Now, if you want to know more, I urge you to go to our website, BritishIsrael.ca, and order our booklet, The Middle East in Prophecy, and it'll go through with you this prophecy of Daniel, the 11th chapter. And I'll put the link in the description below to the order form, and you can order it directly from there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and don't forget to even, if you wish, join our membership. Just click the Join button at the bottom of the player here, and you can uh, join us and uh, receive a membership so you can support this YouTube channel. This is Peter Salemi saying goodbye, friends.